we are gathered here on this beautiful day to witness this union of Kenneth and Kimberly in holy matrimony. This is a day of great celebration for a married life, a shared life. It is a great life and it is a blessing. As Kenneth and Kimberly embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture a love that makes them better versions of themselves. Marriage is a garden we sow with love and harvest in personal growth. Kenneth and Kimberly, on your journey together, keep your spouse in the space of highest priority in your heart. The love that you share must be guarded and cherished forever, for it is your most valuable treasure. Always remember these words, love is patient, love is kind. It is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of wrongs. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Kim, words cannot explain how grateful I am for you coming into my life. Since you, I found a happiness that I didn't know existed. Our time together, the simple things, hunting, fishing, hanging on the porch, listening to music, Sunday fun day. <laughs> These things seem so minor, but mean so much. These simple things have confirmed that you are the one for me. And there is no one else that I'd rather do these things with. For the first time in my life, I feel complete. And I thank God for you every day because I found my best friend for life. I know I'm not perfect, but I promise you that I will always try to be the man you deserve. You have made my life complete, and I love you for that. Kenneth, when we first met, I never imagined this day would come. But now that I'm here, I can't imagine it being anywhere else. I think about our story and know within a doubt the universe put us together for a reason. You have filled my life with such joy, love, excitement, and given me a sense of peace that I never knew existed. Your sudden voice had me hello. I was drawn to you from our first conversation. Your loving, caring, sweet demeanor was always imprinted in my mind when I thought of you. I love how we started as friends. You know and understand me like no one else has ever. Thank you for accepting me for all that I am. Accepting my sassiness. <laughs> Accepting my fear of heights. Accepting when we go fishing, 50% of the time I will hook a tree. More importantly, accepting my Amazon addiction. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for loving and supporting me unconditionally. I feel proud to be here standing next to you, not only today, but for the rest of our lives. To this day, I still get butterflies when I come home to you. I smile every time I think about you. I love the way that you always push my hair back when it's in my face. I love that you know every word to our favorite songs. I love the way that you break out into a dance to make me laugh. I love your smile, your laugh, and your cute dimples. They don't make people like you. And I thank God for you every day. As we continue in our journey, I promise to give you all of me. I promise to give you all of my words when needed. I promise to pick you up when you feel down, to laugh with you, cry with you, respect you, encourage you, and always to cherish you. I promise to dissect songs with you. I promise to love you no matter what. And I pledge my life, my love, and my devotion to you. Our relationship is full of more love and support than I could ever ask for. I've never felt more adored or more safe with anyone else. Kenneth and Kimberly, by the power given to me by the local churches and by the state of Tennessee, I now pronounce you are husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. Paint me the perfect picture. It's just how I knew that it would be. The cold air will make us shiver. 
that's why we've got each other Give the